Hey there, this is Malorian, and this is now going to be the second game of the Onslaught Tournament. So first game, uh, Matthew Reeson just destroys me in, in one turn, and I lose blood and glory. But now I thought, hey, I lost by Massacre, now I'm going to play an easier army. Well, it turns out the guy I'm playing against, this is a guy that's, you know, he's a very, very strong player, always on the top tables. But because last game was blood and glory, and he happened to, you know, lose by blood and glory... He lost that, and now I'm paired up against him. So this really doesn't look good for me, except he really changed up his army. I mean, he's coming from the other town, so I don't know if this is kind of more common for him, but normally it's a horde of trolls and throg and all, like, you know, uh, Wars of Chaos nastiness. Now he's gone for a complete corn theme. Uh, the Demon Prince isn't there. He's just there in case he gets it with, you know, killing a champion or whatever that stuff. But, yeah, no magic at all, and should be pretty interesting. So looking here at his main deployment, he has the big block of the Skull Crushers on the left. They're going to have the a Chaos Lord of Corn. So that guy's going to be badass. There's a BSB in there. Then he has his big block of warriors here. They all have the Mark of Corn. They have Halbridge and Shields. Uh, he has another Exalted in there. Of course, he has his whole uh, shrine there in the back, a Chariot of Corn, and a bunch of these Ogres of Corn with great weapons. Uh, you can also see there, he also has dogs on either side too. But the game here is going to be the battle line. So really it's going to come down to just victory points. Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember what the secondary is. Oh yeah, all killing all core is worth double. Which, you know, his, his main core is that big massive block. So that's going to be pretty hard to beat. However, you know, everything has a uh, mark of corn. Everything has frenzy. So I can bait stuff. And I have a lot of throwaway units. So really, I'm just trying to deploy here to try and spread out. I'm, I'm hoping to never face that one Skull Crusher block at all. Uh, I'm trying to line up my monsters to try and fight his block if it comes out. And then otherwise, I think killing those ogres will be the really easy points. So really hoping to get the points on the right side, redirect on the left. And also, the way he deployed <laughs> is he's going straight for that house. So if he is actually going to go inside the house, the plan is actually just to go and trap them inside and have something on all sides of that house. But we'll see what happens. Uh, this is what I was looking at on the other side. So like I said, really trying to space out so I can hit those uh, ogres with super orc, with my chariots, and hopefully with the big old spider on the side, and you know maybe with those savages as well. But you know, just trying to really space out here. And uh, as it so happened, uh, you know, last game Matthew Reeson was feeling a little bit worse for the weather. It's come up in the meantime that it wasn't just a drinking; he had a flu as well. So you know, please <laughs> kind of lay off him a bit. But he was actually drinking with this guy, so you know he was also not feeling all too hot. But he was in a lot better shape. You know. He just kind of want to get the game over and done with, so he actually deployed everything before I got to deploy anything. So sure, I'll take that uh, spread out. I think that kind of gave me a little bit of advantage here, getting to get things where I wanted them. But then again, hey, you know, I'm going to be out deploying him anyway. But hey, let's see what happens. So he gets first turn, and he's moving up, and if... You know, if before I thought he was trying to get into that building, it's it's pretty definite now. Uh, it turns out that I think it's on the BSB or something. He has the uh, ruby ring, so he shoots a fireball at me, trying to kill my little lone character, and I uh, stop that one. Otherwise, over here, it, it's go time. So, you know, I charge in with both the chariots, with super orc. I probably could have held out a little while, but I really want to get this side crushed so that I have time to kind of swing around uh, and to get things around the building. If I hold off too long, then I can't surround the building and the whole plan falls apart. So two chariots going in, super orc as well. Probably isn't quite enough, but uh, one of the things that also kind of helps actually is that on the way in, I fail my terrain test going through the, the forest there with the, the wolf chariot. And that's a good thing because that's going to be his easiest target. And now there's only one wound left for him to score off me. So after everything's said and done, I kill a rank, but he's still steadfast. I really need to kill one more. That really was kind of asking a lot, but hey, you know, whatever. I won combat, he held. You can see here that the spiders are the first one to say, hey, let's go over there. Uh, I'm actually trying to make it somewhat threatening with my giant and stuff there. Seriously, I would never win that fight no matter what. Uh, one of the things that was really kind of stupid of me is 
I, I have my spear chaka that you can't really see there on the left side. And his dogs have like a straight way to get there. I shot them, but I mean, he didn't panic because I only killed one out of five. And now he's going to kill my chaka for free. So that was kind of dumb. Should have covered that a lot better. On the right side, my shooting kills two dogs and they panic. So that's pretty nice. Otherwise, on his turn, he's now going to charge these spiders. So he'll be off nowhere. And over here, like I said, charges the chaka and that was just stupidity just stupidity stupidity on my side over here i really didn't see this i was pretty far away but he rolls fairly high and gets his chaos chariot into my Ragnarok. as i remember it he didn't even want to do this he had failed a frenzy test no uh, no obviously it wouldn't be able to, no i think he, i think he just went for it so hey might as well try and he got it so that's bad uh especially bad because you know i go and actually hit him with a venom surge so it's like yeah venom surge gonna do awesome Roll one wound. After that, he does a few wounds to me. I break. I'm stubborn. I fail it. Yeah. That's uh, 290 points down the board. All right. So after everything's said and done, he is inside that building. Uh, he kills the spiders, is forced to overrun. Uh, Super Orc and those chariots beat up the ogres and they break. I hold with the chariot while Super Orc runs them down and runs into the rally dogs. So I got some points, but remember, I'm just down in Ragnarok, so it's only kind of working out anyway. Uh, his dogs also are set up so that when they beat the Spear Chaka, they ran into my Boar Boys. So that's not so bad because I know I'm going to win that fight, but at the same time, yeah, it's just kind of a nuisance. So on my side here, I go for a double charge onto his chariot, and I double fail. Actually, the archers didn't want to do that. They fell animosity, but whatever. Uh, otherwise, at the end of everything, it looks like this. So I send my chariot into his war altar, and I do nothing. I couldn't believe it. With all those strength fives, uh, you know, because everything's attacking at strength five there, I thought, oh, yeah, I'll do a few wounds. He might break. This is going to be great. Nope, did nothing. He did a wound back. It's a draw combat. All right, whatever. Uh, Super Orc beats the dogs, runs off. Otherwise, you can see here that I have the one goblin set up to redirect him again. I beat the dogs with my boars, of course. But otherwise, you can see I'm just surrounding that building, saying, you know what? You're not going to come out. You're stuck in there until I deal with everything else. Uh, unfortunately, he has other plans, and on his turn over here, he passes the test, not the charge, and his two characters run past my lines here and he reforms with the skull crushers so that's not good and over here he actually finds a way to get out of the building if he goes three wide so maybe i have a shot here i mean he's not going to be steadfast and uh not getting a lot of guys to attack it also means that i have a way out with my orcs on the left because now they can go into the building to get away from death but yeah definitely my whole plan just kind of fell apart right now so this is what it looks like after everything's said and done. You can see how both of his skull crushers are there. This is where it would have really helped to not get my spear chaka killed. Because if that's still alive, he has to keep them in the unit in order to not risk being shot assassinated. So this was really bad for me. Um, he, you know, he kills my chariot at the top there too. But man, uh, yeah, kind of bad news here. Uh, so on my turn, I send my spider up there to go after his uh, war shrine. I charge in with my savages and my war boss into these guys. I mean, like, this could be a lot of points. You know, if I can now break these warriors who are only three wide, that is so many points. Then again, I'm just using those savages with spears. Over here, I get the charge off onto his chariot, so that should be a pretty easy win. And I also bounce to the back of this war shrine as well. So with both these heroes working together, actually the guy back here is a war boss, I should be able to beat him with combat res and all those attacks. Uh, over here, yeah, he kills enough guys and me, I do nothing to him. He, it's a push. I didn't even take away his frenzy. Over here, <laughs> again, yeah, he has to issue a challenge. I take with my chab uh, so I can just wreck his face, but I barely do anything whatsoever. War boss, uh, the way that he had it situated was perfect. I don't know if he did it on purpose or not, but the only person my war boss could attack was a unit champ. So all of his attacks got me one. Everybody else got me nothing. Uh, he actually won combat, and I held uh, because I was steadfast. 
and now uh, I'm, I'm just dead. So after everything is said and done, it looks like this. You know, like I said, Giant had to get out of the way. Guys went to the building. And the combat in, against the War Shrine, yeah. Again, stuff just not going through. Uh, I don't think I even beat him. I think that one was also a draw. Or, I, I don't know, maybe I beat him by one, but he holds. Either way, everything's looking very disappointing here. I have the one goblin hero that's there to redirect the Skull Crushers. But yeah, clearly I'm about to lose a lot of points. So over here, I get some points as I go and I destroy the chariot. Uh, over here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he charges in, kills a goblin. That's easy. Uh, he also goes and charges in both of his characters into my savages. They're completely, you know, destroyed. And, uh, yeah, I can see Super Orc is there flying back. Uh, but he has a lot of work he needs to do. So on my turn, I fly in Super Orc to finish off the War Shrine. The Giant goes into the rear of the Skull Crushers. I realize this is a really bad match, but, uh, you know, sometimes desperate times, you know, call for desperate measures. And after it's all said and done, I'm able to destroy the War Shrine. Uh, he kills the Giant. I fall onto him. Now, it's perfect. All of them are being hit with the Strength 6 hit. They're going to take D3 wounds each. I was like, yes, at least that's going to do massive damage. No, he made almost all his ward saves, and uh, or armor saves, rather, and I just kill one with rolling the three wounds. So could have been a lot more. Could have made so I could get points later. But in all seriousness, this game's looking pretty doubtful <laughs> the way it is. Uh, he also went and, uh, yeah, my orcs are running away there. My Oh, no, I, I left the building because he would have charged me and destroyed me, so I just left the backside to get safe. He's going to be able to charge me now with the Skull Crushers, but I'll just flee and get away. So on his turn, he charges uh, Super Orc, and yeah, there's... What could I do for this thing here? When I beat the War Shrine, I had to overrun, I can't flee, and, you know, I can kind of hope I can beat this guy, but he's already got a lot of, uh, you know, buffs up from killing other things, and uh, yeah, now, you know, with all that st static combat res, even if I was to beat his uh, little... Uh, what is it? Uh... Exalted, that's their name. You know, he has so much static combat res here, it's going to be trouble. And so the way it ends, Super Orc meets his match, and he's killed. He overruns into the spider. Uh, like I said, he charges the orcs. They run away. Uh, over here, again, desperate time. I have the orc archers into the flank, the boar boys into the rear. But it's just nothing. He slaughters my boar boys. Uh, I, I think he wins and I hold, and he just turns to face me. Uh, he kills my spider. So as you can see here, I'm just bleeding points. I have almost nothing left. I'm no longer scoring anything off of him. And then on his side, yeah, he's basically just trying to charge me off the board. I uh, didn't quite work. Uh, he finishes off my archers. And then on my last turn, I basically run off the board, and that's it. So, oh. Another massacre loss, and you know it's one of these things where I kind of, kind of blame where you know what am I doing facing this guy? I know he's a very strong opponent. You know, I, I after regging a massacre loss, I shouldn't be playing uh, a very strong player like him. However, at the same time, you know what? I have to give it to him that his army was themed, had no magic. I mean, you have a lot of the guys that say like I'm a corn army, and then you know they still have some magic guy that's like tied up or whatever, right? So they kind of work it, bend the fluff to try and get that in there. No, this was a completely corn army. So, you know, congrats to my opponent for, you know, running that. But either way, as far as things are going, like at this tournament, I was hoping to win one. Okay, no, I thought I'd win one, and then I was hoping to win two. Now, if I don't win my next two games, yeah, fail, not going to get to it. So hopefully I'll do better. Uh, but as a little teaser for next game, I'm against Dan.